In this video, I'm going to look at Alter Hyper Mesh, and specifically I want to look at some of the shortcut tools that have been added in the recent years, and then show some of the more common keyboard shortcuts. So you can see here I have a left crank model, and I'm in Hyper Mesh 2023. Now one thing that's been in the tool for a while, and it's a common shortcut for a lot of tools, is Control F, which is the find and search option. You can see it opens up a field up here in the right hand corner. And if I wanted to search for, let's say materials, I can find anywhere where there's a setting for materials that I could change. Now, because this video is about keyboard shortcuts, let's search for that. Here you can see it brings me to that result. Now the other option to find the keyboard shortcuts is under view and then find the keyboard shortcuts option. Okay, now the first tab in this uh, shortcut editors function tab it's basically showing me everything that can be assigned to shortcut. And you can see there's a ton of options here. So if you find yourself performing a certain function over and over and there isn't a shortcut already created, this is where you come to create one. Now I pull up the preferences menu a lot. So I'm gonna find that in my options here and you can see there isn't a shortcut already assigned. So I'm just gonna add one here. And I'm just gonna go with the control backslash. Now to do it, I just click on the open field and then I hit the actual buttons of control plus backslash. So now that shortcut is saved. So now if I use that shortcut, you can see it brings up the preferences menu that I set it for. Okay, another thing, if you're having a hard time finding the function that you wanna set a shortcut for, you can use this search field and just start typing it in to help find what you're looking for. Okay, so let's look at the next tab now. This is the scripts tab. And this allows me to assign a shortcut to run a script that I've already written. And I'll show you how here. So if you hit the plus sign, you can add a new shortcut. Now the script I have here is to update my constraints. So I'm gonna add that as the name section. Then I'm gonna come into here into the field for the shortcut and I'm gonna use control P as my shortcut. So now anytime in the future that I wanna run this script, I have a shortcut set up to just hit control P. So again, any of these features in here can be assigned a shortcut. Again, we can go back and see the one that I've already assigned one for, which is the preferences. You can see that control backslash is still in there. So I can do that going forward. Okay, so now let's look at some of the more common keyboard shortcuts that you might use in your day-to-day -day use of the tool. So sometimes you'll be working on a model and you'll zoom in quite a bit. And if you're working on a specific part of an assembly, and then you have to zoom all the way out to see the full model. If you hit the letter F, it will fit your model to your entire screen. So it's an easy way to get back to that. Another common one is if I want to move my model in any way, I have the icon here in the ribbon, or I can just hit Shift plus F4 to activate that move feature. Okay, so one of the core functions is just using your middle mouse button to rotate your model. But what if you want to lock a rotation point instead of having it switch based on where your cursor is? For that, you can hit control plus the middle mouse button and then click the point that you want to lock in. You can see I'm just rotating around that point, that new point I've hit. And to release that, you can hit the control plus middle button and then just click it in the open space and that resets it. Another feature I really like is the circle zoom function. Basically, this allows me to draw a circle on any area of interest on my model and it will zoom in automatically. So to do this, I can hit the letter Z and then I can use the right click to draw my circle. Or another way to do it is to hit the Alt key and then draw the circle with your left hand click. Okay, so hit F to fit my model again. Now another cool feature is the ability to save commonly used views. So let's say I'm moving back and forth between two certain views of my model. Instead of having to rotate the model every time, I can find my first view, then hit Control plus any number. So for this one, I'm gonna choose the number one, Control plus one. Then I'll find my second view. Let's say this is the orientation I like, and I'll do the same thing and do control plus two. Now I can just hit alt one or alt two, and it'll bounce back and forth between the two views that I set. Okay, so last thing on a few commonly used shortcuts. You can see I have a mesh created, and in my model browser, it shows elements. If I wanted to hide my mesh, I can click on that, and I can right click and then find hide, right? or I can just hit the letter H to hide everything. Then to show the mesh again, I would hit the letter A. 
Then the letter G lets me toggle between the mesh, the geometry, or both. Okay, so for my entity selection, I have this menu here that I can drop down and select it, or I can use the letter C, which will choose my components or connectors. The letter E would let me choose the elements. L is for lines or loads. N is for the nodes. And S would be for solids or surfaces. That's it for the video. There are many more pre-built shortcuts in HyperMesh. I will add a link to the description below. If you have any other questions, go to www.trueinsight.io.